Welcome to SMS classes. This video is mainly targeted for 10th ICAC board students. In your board exam, section B contains 6 questions out of which you have to answer any 4. We observed one of the frequently asked program type is like design a class with the following description, data members, member methods, etc. So we believe this type could be one of your easiest program to score 15 out of 15 marks. For the discussion, we are taking 2015 board exam question, that is question number 4. As you see this question, it is guiding you step by step in English what they need in the program. You just need to translate into a Java program. I'll show you now how easy it is to write this as a program. First, the question says define a class parking lot. So we write a class parking lot. Next, instance variable slash data members. That is global variables in the class. So in this case, we need three variables. So we go ahead and declare them. Next, member methods. In that first is wide input. So wide input. Now we need to accept the input from the user. So we need scanner class here. So scanner class is in java.util package. So we import it and we create the instance of the scanner object. Now we collect the vehicle number from the user and collect the hours and store it. So input method is done. Next we go to calculate method. So calculate is very simple. First one hour is 3 rupees and then after that each hour is 1 rupee 50 paise. So we write a simple if else to calculate the bill. Calculate method is over. Next is display method. So in display method, we just need to display the details of it. So that includes vehicle number, hours, and the bill what we calculated right now. Done. The last step is a main method. So public static void main string array. This is how the main method should be in Java. So don't write only void main. Right? The structure of the main method should be like this only. Now we create an object of this class. So parking lot P1 is equal to new parking lot. Now call the above member methods. So P1 dot input, then we call calculate, then we call display. That's it. We got 15 out of 15. Now I'll introduce some more variants in this program what they typically ask like default constructor parameterized constructor etc so first let us learn default constructor so default constructor to initialize the data members so constructor should have same name of the class so parking lot and no return type and which initializes the data members that's it the rest all the program remains same this is default constructor if they ask parameterized constructor, so again we write a constructor, the same name of the class, but this time it should accept vehicle number and hours as the parameters. So this is your parameterized constructor. So the calculate method remains same, the display method remains same as what we wrote already, but we need some changes in the main method. Before we wrote parking lot P1 equal to new parking lot. When a class has no constructor or default constructor, here the arguments will be empty. But now we have a parameterized constructor. So this is wrong. So we should pass a vehicle number and the hours. So just as an example, 4, 2, 6, 5 as the vehicle number and 3 as the hours. Instead of hard coding, we can use scanner to read the input from the user that is vehicle number and the hours and we can pass that as a parameter to this. Now the vehicle number hours is read from the user. That's it. We are done with the program. So as you see, there is no much logic to write. Just the structure is what is expected from you. So hence we strongly recommend students, if this type of question comes in your board, it is easy to score 15 out of 15 marks fully. That's all for now. If you have any doubts about these kind of questions, leave your comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.